It's time to take five. Now you know. This week in our special Time to Care holiday series, we are featuring homeless dogs with one of the area's largest dog rescue organizations, Big Dog Ranch Rescue. Joining us today is attorney Karen Terry of the law firm of Cersei Denny, along with Christopher Krauss, the CEO of Big Dog Ranch Rescue. Welcome to you both. Thank you. Karen, can you tell us a little bit about your interest in this nonprofit organization? Being a dog lover my whole life, I'm very interested in all dog rescue organizations, but particularly Big Dog Ranch. It is a state-of-the-art facility, and it is the largest cage-free, no-kill facility in the country. They've done a lot of great things for a lot of animals. They rescue over 3,000 animals per year. And most recently, they received national attention for rescuing 161 animals from the Bahamas. And they've also rescued animals from Puerto Rico and from other places that have suffered from hurricanes or f serious flooding problems. And Christopher, can you give us an update on these dogs? Absolutely. Uh, of the 161 dogs that we rescued from the Bahamas, 69 of them by the end of October had already been reunited with their families and the rest of them have either been adopted or available for adoption. Uh, we've had a lot of interest in Miracle, the dog that was rescued from Arsh Harbor that survived for three and a half weeks under an air conditioning unit with no food and lived on rainwater. 9.30 this morning we had, a, the doors? we had a plane there within an hour. Uh, Along, like Miracle and most of the dogs that came in from the Bahamas, the dogs, uh, most of them came in with heartworm disease or one or more parasites that had to be treated. Miracle was obviously the most emaciated and the most uh, muscle atrophy, so needed tremendous amounts of physical therapy. And uh, we were just thrilled to be able to nurse these dogs back to health and to find a forever home for Miracle. Christopher, tell us what people can do right now to help. Oh, there's a multitude of ways that people can help. Uh, number one, is adopting a dog. We all in the rescue business like to say adopt, don't shop. And I have two wonderful dogs here from the Bahamas. This is Penny, who's nine months old. We have Rambo Jack, who's seven months old. Both of them are spayed and neutered and vaccinated now and uh, well on their road to recovery and they're looking for forever homes. We have over 600 dogs at the ranch uh, ready for adoption. Oop, Rambo Jack is looking for a treat. Um, <laughs> And if you don't adopt one of the dogs from the Bahamas, we have several dozen of them available. All the dogs you rescue make room for other dogs to come in. Our dogs are all last day dogs. So if any dog you bring home or you foster uh, makes room for another loving pet. We uh, always need volunteers. We couldn't survive without our volunteers. We need fosters. Uh, it helps us, our first responder fosters, to take litters um, of dogs or just one uh, or two. Uh, fosters are always needed. Uh, we survive on philanthropic donations, so anybody who wants to donate can visit our website. In addition to financial donations to support our rescue efforts and the supplies that we're sending to the Bahamas and the medicines and vehicles and helping rebuild uh, the shelter there, we uh, also have items you can get at the ranch on the Amazon wish list on our website. And can you tell our viewers what the Amazon wish list is? Sure. Uh, for those that don't wish to donate cash, they can pick an item off items that we've identified on uh, Amazon. It's a link on our website. So it could be crates to transport dogs in uh, for rescue. It could be a caranda bed or other items. Pretty much uh, uh, there's some fun things on there too. Uh, almost everything but food. We're very lucky that Rachel Ray Nutrish donates all of our food. So right now it's probably the only thing we don't need. My hope is that you would consider adopting one of these adorable dogs, especially during the holidays. But if you cannot, please support the Big Dog Ranch Rescue's efforts. Thank you both so much for being here. Thank you. If you would like more information, go to BDRR.org to learn more about the dogs that are available for adoption. 